You guys asked for it, and it is here. My short hair video. I'm gonna be telling you a little story about why I cut my hair. I'm also gonna be showing you some awesome hair products that I've been using. I have a very cool sponsor for this video. And I'm gonna show you and briefly explain how I get my hair straight and also how I get it wavy. And there'll be a special little offer for you in the description box as well. So let's get into it. So my sponsor for this video is Giovanni Cosmetics. I love them. Around the same time that I cut my hair, they contacted me to see if I wanted to try their repair line. Um, my hair being kind of damaged and uh, crappy was the reason that I cut it. So I was like, I may as well, I'm starting afresh, may as well give my hair as good of a chance as being healthy as possible. I know I have talked about Giovanni hair care before on my channel throughout the years. <laughs> but if you are not familiar, Giovanni are a cruelty-free line. They are Leaping Bunny and Logical Harmony approved. The majority of their line is vegan, but they do list in their FAQ a few items that are not, but overall pretty much everything is. I know a lot of you guys asked me for recommendations on paraben and sulfate-free uh, hair products specifically. Um, that's Giovanni. You're gonna find products for you here. In fact, they actually have quite a list of things that they do not contain, so let me, uh, let me inform you. No artificial colors, no paraffin, no mineral oil, no phthalates. No DEA, no pet, is it petrolatum? Petrolatum? I don't know. No formaldehyde and no propylene glycol. So much friendlier ingredients overall and the entire brand, I found all of the products I've tried are much more high quality and high performance products whereas some of the hair care I may have tried that also contains none of those nasty things. It just isn't always the most effective, but I feel like they're a really good brand that kind of encompasses all of those things as well as being super high quality, effective products. Now, if you check the description box down below, you will find a link to get your buy one, get one free coupon for any of their US retailers. You can find them at places like Whole Foods, Food Lion, and I can even find them at a few places locally as well. So definitely check out that link. I will also list all of the products I am talking about in the description box down below. And let's get into, um, the, let's talk about my hair. So unless you've only joined me on my channel in the last couple of months, you will know that I did have fairly long hair before. And I do have extremely fine hair. It's not that I don't have many hairs, but the hair I do have is very, very fine. And so although I loved having long hair, I found that once it got to a certain length, it just looked even thinner. And so I always felt like I had to wear some kind of extensions just to kind of like make my hair look a bit healthier and less thin and, um you know, limp, lank, lifeless. So one day I decided I just want to cut it all off and I did. <laughs> um, uh, probably should go to a hairstylist if you're planning on doing the same. I didn't. I tied my hair in a low pony and I cut it off and then um, I slicked it all back and I actually got my husband to use clippers and cut a straight line in the back and uh, Hence, this hair was born. I haven't at any point regretted it. I love having short hair now. I just feel like it's much more me. I feel lighter, I feel brighter. I actually feel like it takes less work to kind of like get it how I want it to be. And I just, overall I feel like it was like the best choice for me. I would love to have long, thick, flowing locks, but it's just not in the cards for me. So my plan now is basically to keep cutting it at about the same length until everything is uh, the same. Because I did also, when was it? In the winter, last winter, I cut myself bangs. And so once these shorter bits have grown out, maybe then I would consider growing it a little longer, but right now I love having short hair. Um, and I also feel like I want to cut it more every other day. So that is the reason that I cut it. I just got tired of wanting long hair, it being too fine to look like particularly very good or healthy and I just love having much shorter hair. Now I have had tons of styling questions. I've pretty much exclusively been using the uh, Giovanni repair line. I also have been using a couple of their other products from a different line. I may have even started using conditioner. <laughs> very unlike me. So I'm going to go through the line, tell you how I use each product, a little bit about it, and I'm also going to show you clips of how I style my hair both straight or straight-ish on the first day after I wash it, and then how I do like the wavy kind of like undone look that I have now the day after or maybe the third day. 
So I'm going to go through these in the order that I use and apply them. The first one is their hot oil treatment in the repairing line. So in this one we have blackberry and coconut oil and how I apply it is once my hair is like fairly dirty I will apply it both to the um, scalp and the whole way through my hair. Now because I have very fine hair and I have short hair I could probably get, I would guess about four uses out of one of these. The other thing you could do is if you maybe have like just areas of really broken damaged hair you could just apply it to those areas and you would get that to last a lot longer. I know a lot of people will have a lot of breakage kind of like around the hairline or sometimes in the back in the crown if you've done a lot of like bleach and heat styling. You could just apply it to those areas and treat those if you wanted to. And I find this one does give noticeable results after I've used it and it's not <laughs> a pain in the ass to wash out. I know a lot of hot oil treatments sometimes you need to like shampoo your hair like two, three, four times after or you just still feel really oily but this one does um, come away really nicely from the hair afterwards and it just leaves it feeling healthier, a little stronger and not super weighed down, especially as someone with fine hair, that is something I often run into. Our uh, our hot water in our house is incredibly hot, so I just run it under there for a while until it's super liquidy, put a bit into my hands and then run it through my hair. I may then like tie my hair up and run some errands. <laughs> Or I might just put like a shower cap on it, let it really heat up and work in there and uh, then rinse it out. So obviously after using that hot oil, I'm going to need to shampoo my hair, which brings us to... I love this, okay? So this is the Blackberry and Coconut Milk Repairing Shampoo. It is for damaged and overprocessed hair. And it also says it's color safe too. So for those of you who do have colored hair, this would be a really great line because it's gonna be color safe as well as kind of like repairing from any damage that you may have done. Now I know a lot of the time when products are sulfate free, especially shampoos, you can find that they just don't lather or your hair doesn't feel quite as clean after. This is not one of those products. It does lather up, but it's almost like a rich, thick microfoam. <laughs> Are we talking about coffee or hair care? It definitely cleans my hair really well. It will get rid of that hot oil treatment, but it doesn't leave my hair feeling dry or parched. So I do think it does a really good job of being quite clarifying, but also not giving you like kind of frizzy, frazzled feeling hair afterwards. I could happily use this and just rinse my hair with cold water at the end to kind of get the, uh, what's it called, cuticle closed, something like that. But they've changed my mind about conditioner. I didn't think it could be done either. I am typically someone that can't stand conditioner, again, because I have fine hair, I find it makes my hair feel even thinner, <laughs> almost too slinky, and just weighed down. But this conditioner especially, I don't know how it does it. It makes my hair feel healthy, it makes it feel slightly thicker, and it says it repairs and renews for a youthful vibrancy, and honestly, I feel like it does. So for those of you who, like me, maybe hate conditioner, if you do want to try one out, I have really thoroughly enjoyed this one. And I just find the two together do a really great job of, obviously, shampooing and conditioning my hair, but also making my hair feel fuller without it feeling dry. A lot of the times, things that can kind of give you more volume can make your hair feel dry and kind of not the greatest. Those two just seem to like bulk up and make my hair feel healthier and um, I love them. And they smell... They smell so good. Honestly, it's like a super luxurious experience, especially that shampoo because of that kind of like rich, thick lather that it gives. Now, I've also been trying out the intensive hair mask. So perhaps if hot oil treatments aren't for you, this would be a really great one to look into. I would say this is kind of like a super amped up version of that conditioner, but it still does not make my hair feel weighed down or too slinky or limp or anything like that. It just kind of makes it feel super healthy and really taken care of. So for me, this is certainly a hair mask that I would continue to use over and over because it just gives me nicer hair. I think overall these products make my hair genuinely healthier versus kind of like coating it with something slinky, if that makes any sense. I feel like a lot of the times super repairing like conditioners or things that are meant to get rid of frizz, just kind of like coat your hair in some kind of like slippery substance. Whereas I think these products really work to repair your hair. It's in the name. So uh, yeah, <laughs> completely changed my mind on conditioners. So once my hair is washed and treated in whichever way I've decided to do it that day, I probably interchange these guys about once a week. I may sometimes use the hot oil treatment. If my scalp feels a little dry, I will definitely use this one. And I wash my hair two to three times a week. I'm finding that with these products I don't have to wash my hair so often, which is really nice. So then once my hair is washed, I put it up in a towel and I let it dry most of the way in the towel. Then when I take it down, it's time for this bad boy. This isn't even a product that they send me. It's not in the repairing line. It is something I picked up and um, 
I really enjoy it. So this is their hairstyling foam. Um, it has a medium to firm hold, which I would say is pretty accurate. And how I use this is I will take my hair down, I will use about half to a full pump of this in my hands and then run that through all of my hair. And then I will either brush it through or just kind of like run it through with my fingers. I find this definitely helps when I will kind of like roughly dry my hair to give it a bit more volume. If I use a round brush, it will really help to give me more volume. And it kind of just helps to sort of bring out my hair's natural texture or natural wave. And it gives a really pretty effect. You could even just put this in and then let your hair air dry if you wanted to. I think it's a really cool product. And another thing that I love is you know sometimes with the aerosol kind of mousses you can like do the tiniest squeeze and you will get so much out that you don't even know what to do with it especially with fine hair you don't need too much product this is nice because you can literally just do like half or quarter of a pump and you don't get any excess so I really like that I feel like it's a lot less wasteful product wise you can be really controlled as to how much you use and it just kind of helps to give your hair a little bit more volume a little bit more hold and also like I said it kind of helps to bring out your natural texture as well so when I dry my hair I also use a little bit of this one this is the leave-in conditioning and styling elixir I think of this as kind of like a blow dry cream again it smells really good you do not need to use much and I will put this through kind of like the mid lengths and ends of my hair so the mousse I kind of aim it towards the roots but it ends up going the whole way through. It definitely smooths and helps with frizz but I also think it's kind of like protecting when I use heat on it as well and the combo of these helps to kind of prolong the blow dry as well or any style that I use these two with. The other way I will use this is I'll sometimes just like right now I will put like half a pump in my hand and then just kind of like mess up my hair with it a bit. If I want it to have a little bit more kind of like texture but like a slept in kind of sexy bed head. I will just run a bit of this through my hair. Did I mention it smells good? And it just kind of helps to give me that soft, messy look. So again, I think a really kind of versatile product because it can be very smoothing and really help your style or you can use it in drier hair, which I don't think they even recommend, but I do, to give you a kind of like soft, messy bed head look. All right, so once my hair is dry, day one of hair what I will do is I will put up the top portion of my hair kind of like around the crown and I will straighten all the hair that I've left down I find that this gives me a kind of really nice slinky shape to the hair but it still lets me keep that volume on top it also helps if you have hair that tends to flick out or under or in different directions so I just go through and do that then when I let down the top of my hair I will just go through and see if any little areas or ends of my hair need to be straightened but Overall, I just don't really touch that top layer and I find it keeps the volume on top and a little bit of movement or natural wave. But you do get that nice kind of like smooth, sleek look to the um, hairstyle as well. It's also really nice if you're lazy because you've only really styled the underneath of your hair. And then I will like flick that top portion of hair to either side and put the other side behind my ear. And that is typically what you see me with when I'm on like Instagram stories and a lot of you guys ask. If it's that kind of like straight but undone voluminous look, this is how I do it, super easy. I just straighten the underneath portion of my hair and uh, leave the rest. <laughs> then on day two or three, I typically will go for a more kind of like wavy or undone style like I have today. Those underneath layers typically stay pretty straight and the overall shape is still there, but it might just be messed up because I've slept on it. So I will then take a curling iron that is about one to one and a quarter inches, I'm pretty sure. And I will just start curling small sections away from the face. And I will do that over the entire head. I do not brush these out as I go. I will kind of try and do the whole head. Then I use a little bit of this product. Again, another one that I picked up locally. This is the um, LA Hold Hair Spritz. It is their hairspray. I love it. So I spray that all over my head, all over those kind of like perfect little curls that we have there. And then I will flip my hair upside down, shake it around a bit. When I flip my head back up, I kind of have this undone wavy look to my hair. Then I just kind of decide which side I want the part on. I might use a bit more hairspray if I want to, if I have any kind of like wild flyaway bits. And then I finish off with this bad boy. This is the Repairing Super Potion Hair Oil Serum. I actually do have a different serum from them, which I think may be in this range. The packaging looks more like this anyway. And let me tell you, their serums, you need to use the tiniest amount and they will last you forever. So I just put, again, half a pump to one pump in my hands. I basically just want enough when I rub my hands together that I can feel that there's some on my hands. If my hair is straight, I will run it kind of through the whole head. Otherwise, if it's wavy like this, I might just run it through the ends just to kind of get a little bit more definition and shine on the ends of my hair. I don't want it to look too, too fluffy. I do like that undone kind of fluffy bedhead look, but I don't want it to look so fluffy. 
you know what I'm saying? It's a fine balance. So this is a super nice one for that. Also, if I have any kind of like flyaways up here, I'll use the tiniest amount on those too. The other thing I sometimes do is I make a little cocktail. You guys know I love cocktails of all kinds. I mix the Styling Elixir with that hair serum. Um, and again, run that kind of like through the ends and mid lengths just to give me a little bit more shine and kind of undone bed heady texture to my hair. So overall, super impressed with those products. I honestly cannot believe that they changed my mind about conditioner, but if you are also kind of like conditioner avoidant, <laughs> like myself. I would definitely recommend at least giving this one a try because it's really kind of changed how I think about conditioners. It doesn't just leave my hair feeling coated and heavy. It really does seem to help the actual health of my hair versus coating it with something slinky. So that, my friends, is how I've been styling my short hair. It is the products I've been using. If you do have any other questions you think I may have missed, please do leave them in the comments below and I will meet you down there. A huge thank you to Giovanni, not only for sending me these products to try out, but also for sponsoring this video. It's definitely a brand I've been using and loving for several years now, and so then to be able to work with them and also bring you guys that buy one get one coupon is just a, a pleasure. So like I said, definitely check that description box for all of the products I used, as well as the buy one get one free coupon that you can use at any of their US retailers. I know hair care is something that a lot of you guys ask about when it comes to going cruelty free or finding vegan products. Giovanni make it super easy and they really do kind of bridge that gap between natural products and kind of like high-end salon quality ones. I find they do a really great job of doing that without having all of the kind of like sulfates and parabens and everything else in it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. All of my social media will be on the end screen, which is to come, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.